Hi there, my name is Alexander Kersnick, and this is a public service announcement to discuss the exploitation of Midwestern manufacturing workers in the last 20 years. If you didn't know, the Midwest is the, is the states between Nebraska and Ohio. These states rely heavily on the products of manufacturing companies. These manufacturing companies have a lot of power and influence in this Midwestern region. A majority of these companies rely on the labor of workers to produce their products. The workers in these manufacturing industries are exploited by these companies. The reasons these companies exploit their workers is to save money and maintain control. According to Harmony Goldberg and Jackson Randy, manu manufacturing companies have exploited their workers by denying them the basic right to protest. This basic right to protest is regulated and protected by certain laws, yet these companies find ways in order to deny, to deny certain workers their right to protest. That is exploitation of workers' rights. Another way that manufacturing workers are exploited is when companies intimidate them to not report their work-related injuries. As found by Jessica A. Halber, whose 2017 study suggests that employers specifically punish employees who, who report injuries, and therefore they are exploiting them through this injury. Companies create knockoff injury case programs as found by Automala O. Automalu. Companies use these knockoff non-medical therapy programs in order to avoid covering medical costs for their workers. This is evidence of companies exploiting the health of their workers. Think about it like this. This is one of those therapy programs. It may look nice, it may look promising, but it is nothing, nothing compared to what real medical care can get you. And that is the problem with these companies not providing that to their workers. This exploitation of Midwestern workers goes back almost a century, okay? Since then, many workers have established unions, which are meant to help protect workers' rights. Some may argue that workers' unions protect Midwestern workers from this current exploitation. However, there is still a large quantity of unions that don't protect these workers from the type of exploitations that we've covered so far. An article by Cendric E. Dynamic even discusses how unions who supposedly protect their workers from exploitation can both can fall victim to these methods that major corporations use to influence those unions in their favor. Basically, there's an article that goes around, that's been going around, and it discusses the methods that employers use to exploit unions and influence them internally in order to avoid conflicts when implementing an unfavorable policy that the workers aren't gonna like. That is clear exploitation of influence of those unions. Unions are supposed to be objective and not at all influenced by corporations in any manner. The reason for this worker um, exploitation is due to these Midwestern manufacturing companies' desire to achieve the smoothest and most productive business models, even if it comes at a cost of exploiting and manipulating its workers. The problem with this exploitation is that not only is it not okay and ethical, is that other companies not included in the manufacturing industry are starting to adopt these policies because of how successful they are. Unless you think it's a good idea for every company to exploit its workers, I think we need to advocate for change. Uh, there do seem to be some plans uh, in the works uh, to help combat this exploitation as evidenced by Harmony Goldberg and Jackson Randy's piece on excluded workers. The exploitation of refusing these Midwestern workers the right to organize actually leads to the first workers, uh, excluded workers Congress ever. Um, and that political organization is dedicated to help protect, it, protect and preserve the rights of manufacturing workers in the Midwest. The ways that these companies get away with this exploitation is the lack of major coverage of the unjust actions that these companies commit. If you want to help these workers keep their livelihoods, go to sites like 
uh, www.excludedworkers.org to donate, share, and research about this exploitation. Here are some links to help people start their research to assist in this movement. Also, there will be links in the description and at the end of this video. Thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.